I'm Tim Brenneman, uh, senior mechanic here. Uh, I've been here for the longest. Um, the old guy here, um, old stuff comes in, and I'm the pretty much the guy that knows the most about it. Um, Thanks. Devin, yep. Yeah, well, Devin here, he's the uh, squirreliest guy we have here. <laughs> yeah, I'm squirrelier now. <laughs> yeah, yep. Yeah. So, so uh, yep. Let let Devin talk about. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna cut you off anyway. Go, uh, yeah, go so, ahead. Um, I'm Devin, and I've been here for two and a half years, and I am the lead on the cylinder side of the shop. So I take care of uh, pretty much everything that uh, these guys can't, and then Tim helps me out with stuff that I don't know how to do, which is rare because I pretty much know how to do everything. So. Yeah, he's an expert. So. <laughs> Expertise. What are some of the common causes that cylinders will leak? Uh, so most common is like on a piece of construction equipment, uh, rocks and debris. Uh, they end up getting and scratching up the, uh, the cylinder rod. So like this rod right here has a bunch of nicks, scratches. It's the chrome's getting worn. Um, that is a lot of the common things you're going to see. Uh, another cause is whenever machine operators are really hard on their equipment and they will actually beat things to where it actually will bend the rod, which is right here. They do have medication for bent rod. And then it ends up wearing out all the other components to the cylinder, uh, as in the gland that goes up and down the rod. And also inside the piston will wear on the barrel and it will cause issues with the piston seal which will then cause internal leaking inside of it. And uh, how does contaminated oil affect cylinders? Contaminated oil affects cylinders as in, if say in an application where it's in a foundry and- Sand gets sand. in the oil. Yeah. yeah. Sand it's, gets in places you don't want sand to go. Ain't that the truth? Well, that's why I don't go to the beach. So <laughs> um, sand, dirt, whatever gets in there and it'll prematurely wear the seals and pretty much depreciates life expectancy and then you'll start to have failures within your system and in the seals of the cylinder. If your oil looks like dip spit, you're probably gonna need to change the oil out. Is it getting hot in here or is it just me? <laughs> yeah, it's just you, Devin. Yeah, I yeah. figured that. <laughs> but you're, he is holding a seal that is definitely burnt from a uh, overheated system. Um, so how, what is the common cause for oil like in that application that was in a um, This was a car baler? Yeah. Cardboard factory, yes. A cardboard factory in a baler. So let's just say within that system, they're running it really hard and say 24 seven, and the oil will get hot and start to break down this seal, make it hard and brittle. And then when that starts to happen, it starts to chip off and then it will start to leak past the rod. So that's gonna be. Yep, it dribbles on the floor. If the cylinder was rebuilt with not high enough pressure seals, um, there's all different types of seals. There's high pressure, low pressure, medium pressure, and depending on the application, um, if you don't put the right seal in for the application, it will um, it'll leak, it'll blow out um, prematurely. That's all we got, folks. <laughs>